Hi everyone and welcome to Learn Computer channel. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways of downloading and installing NetBeans IDE on Windows 10. As you know, NetBeans is a very powerful IDE in which we can write codes of different programming languages such as C, C++, PHP, JavaScript, HTML and also Java. In the first way before installing NetBeans, we have to install JDK and add its binary path in our computer environment variable. For downloading JDK, go to your browser. Write in the search box Java JDK. Here select the first link Java C Development Kit. Now scroll down. Here you will see the downloadable files for different operating systems. And here you can choose your operating system. For example, if you are a Mac user, so select this link. If you are a Linux user, select one of these. In my case, as I am a Windows user, so I will select Windows in 64-bit version because my operating system is 64-bit. Click on this link here and accept the license agreement. Now click on the download button. Here if you have an Oracle account, so type your username and password and click on sign in. If you don't have an Oracle account, so click on create account and then you will see this form. So fill this form and then Oracle will send you an email to so have to verify your account there. Then come back to this page and write your username and password and then click on sign in and the download will be started automatically since i have an oracle account so i'm going to write my username and password and now i'll click on sign in you can see now the downloading process is going to be started click on save Now this will take a bit of time so you have to wait for it. I will pause the video here in order to avoid the extra length of the video. After that the downloading process is done. Navigate to your download folder and here you will see the file that you have downloaded. So double click on this. Now here click on next. Next. This will also take a bit of time so wait for it. Here with GDK we have another file by the name of GRE. You have to install that also. Click on next and just wait for a bit of time. Now you can see the installing process is successfully done. So now go to your C drive where you have installed this GDK file. Go to the Java folder. Here you can see GDK and GRE the two files that we have installed. Now we have to add the binary path of these two files in our environment variable of computer. So go here, go to the bin, copy this path here, control C, and environment variable you can find that in the properties of this PC. Here go to the advanced system setting, here you can see environment variables. Select the path and click on edit. Here you have to click on the new and paste the file or the path you have copied. And then OK and OK. And do the same process with the binary of GRA file. Copy this path also. Go to the environment variable again. Click on path, edit. Here click on new and paste the path of GRE file that you have copied. Now this is GDK and this is GRE. OK, OK and OK. As the path are successfully added, now it's time to download the NetBeans IDE. For that again go to your browser. Go to the search box and type NetBeans IDE download. Select the first link 
and here you can see we are now in the download page of NetBeans ID. You can see as I told you at the beginning that NetBeans is a powerful ID. You can use it for different languages such as Java, HTML, JavaScript, PHP, C++ and C language. Here you can see these are the uh, download buttons where you can download according to your need. I suggest you to select the last one because it has the ability to run the codes of all the languages that you can see on the screen. So for that click on the download button. Now the downloading process will be started. Click on save. There you go. Now just wait for a while to complete the download process. I am going to stop this downloading process because I have already downloaded this file. After that the downloading process is finished, go to your download folder, you will see an executable file for NetBeans. Double click on this, now you can see the installing process is started. Click next here, accept the license, next, next, click next again and next install. Now this process will take a bit of time so you have to wait for it. I am going to stop the video in order to avoid the extra length of this video. Now you can see the installing process is done. Now the NetBeans ID is ready for writing our codes. There you go this is our NetBeans ID. For the first time you have to click on new, here Java, select Java application next now here you can type your project name for example i want to create a project by the name of example and click on finish there you go now here you can write all of your codes in java programming language for example i just want to print a sentence here so system.out print ln hello world for running right click click on run file or select the run from here run project here there you go the sentence that we want to print is printed here if you want to code in other language so click on new here you can select whatever language you would like to code in select here for example c php html java web you can see here the different languages exist here so select whatever you want according to your need so this was the first way of downloading netbeans id the second way just go to your browser here in the search box type netbeans bundle download and hit enter after that select the first link you will be redirected to this Page. Here select the accept license agreement. Now these down files will be activated. So choose the file according to your operating system. I will select Windows 64 bit because mine is 64 bit. Now you can see the downloading process is started. So just wait for this. Uh, until the downloading process is completed don't forget to like and share the video and hit the subscribe button also bell icon so you don't miss any new video now you can see the downloading process is done just double click on the setup and install this file and the cool part in this installation process is this that you don't need to add its path in the environment variable so I'm not going to install this file because I have a better version of NetBeans where I can code in different languages. In this file, I just can write the Java codes in the NetBeans ID. So I'm not going to install this one. So this was all about this lesson. Hope you enjoy and learn. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell icon. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And if you didn't watch my previous videos, so make sure to watch them. and. See you in the next lesson.